It's April 8th, 2024, and here in North Texas, we're excited about Eclipse Day because we are in the path of totality. But Ian and I have been having glass half full, glass half empty discussions all morning because Ian is flipping out about the fact that unfortunately it is really cloudy here. Like the sky is just one great big cloud. There's not a tiny bit of blue sky visible anywhere and it's looking like it's going to be cloudy all day. The totality is supposed to be around 1 40 p.m. so we'll see what happens but it's not looking good. It's actually supposed to be rainy and maybe even thunderstormy later today. So I was trying to bright side things and say hey at least it's not pouring rain now. It's not supposed to be thunderstorming at the time of the eclipse so it could be worse but yeah, Ian's not having it. He's pretty mad. <laughs> the other bright side thing I can say is that this is a great opportunity for me to wear my Otter Space shirt today, don't you think? Anyway, I'm gonna try to see if I can get any images safely of the eclipse, if it's even visible to us through all the clouds later today. And also my son Trent is in Vermont where it's not supposed to be cloudy and it is supposed to be in the path of totality. So we'll see if Trent gets any videos or photos that I can share in this video as well. It's getting worse. It is so cloudy and just kind of water in the air. It started misting. So this is not good. Well, it's sunny and it's 12 27 p.m the eclipse isn't really supposed to be getting serious for another hour but it's starting and it's so fun to see the very beginning yeah you can see the clouds passing over the sun and you can see a little corner of the eclipse happening on the right side i have not successfully figured out how to film with my phone because I've got these in my eyes and then I'm putting the extra pair of glasses over my phone lens and that's not working because I didn't plan ahead and buy a solar filter. If I get any images of this eclipse, it's gonna be from D-Ray's fancy National Geographic telescope. <laughs> Sam's Club, 25 bucks. Are you serious? Yeah, Chris, it was a Christmas special. Oh my, that was a very good Black Friday special. This is the pinhole camera propped up with a chunk of cement. All right, Isaac is uh, getting all of his sunbathing in now before the total eclipse happens. And Charlie is still clueless as to what all the fuss is about. Here I am making my DIY solar filter for my camera by ripping apart a pair of solar eclipse glasses. We'll see if this works. This is me looking at the eclipse and then trying to get my camera to look at the eclipse. Ian is so happy because it's really sunny and we're actually getting to see the eclipse, which is just partial right now. Oh. This is the highlight of the solar eclipse party. Yes. <laughs> Some key lime pie and homemade whipped cream. Oh, Ooh, the shadows. Oh my goodness, the shadows just went away. Here's Ian looking up. Just a tiny sliver of sun left. The problem with a camera that films well in low light is that you can't tell how dark it is. <laughs> it doesn't show up on camera, but everyone's freaking out because it looks like dusk. It looks oh really God. dark it's here. Dark. It's getting dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Everyone is just screaming around the neighborhood. It's so funny. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my goodness. The dog's freaking out because it's gone dark in the middle of the day. I tried to change the filming settings so that it wouldn't like be long exposure so you could see how dark it is. Isn't it wild, Ian? It's crazy. It's the weirdest thing. It's so awesome. Here's the lights that have come on at 1.45 in the afternoon. And then just two minutes later, it's back to looking like daytime rather than nighttime with the lights on inside the house. I have to thank our friends for letting us come watch the eclipse in their backyard. It was such a fun afternoon. And I have to give special credit to two people who contributed to this video who have very appropriate names for a solar eclipse. First is D. Ray, the man with the telescope who got the best photos of the day, which I'm about to show you because all of my photos ended up being blurry like this. And 
the second is Mr. Sun, who was visiting from California. He made the pinhole camera and set up a time-lapse video of it. I will share that clip at the end of this vlog after I first show you what my son Trent saw as he viewed the eclipse from Vermont. Trent found a lovely place in Vermont for eclipse watching by the fabulously named Otter Creek. Trent got some photos of the partial eclipse through the solar filter. But what I most loved about his experience was this video he filmed of the view over the creek when it was dark and dusky looking in the middle of the afternoon. And the crowd of eclipse watchers were going wild with appreciation for this natural phenomenon. As promised, here is the time-lapse video of the pinhole camera, which shows how the clouds frequently passed through our area, but you can see the eclipse evolve over time as it progressed. This was the only way we could look at eclipses before the fancy glasses we have today. I'm so grateful for the opportunity I had to see the eclipse today. Thanks so much for watching this video, and do something good in the world today.